shocker. Wait, is that how it goes? Hi guys, how are you today? My name is Bailey Sarian, and today I'm doing a tutorial on this look right here. This was a look that I did a couple days ago when I was on Snapchat on my Instagram and you guys were asking for a tutorial. So I decided to do what the people want, a tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will shut up. Let's get into it. So I'm going to start with my eyes first because I did a winged liner. In all honesty, I suck at winged liner. It's not my favorite. And I'm like, some days I'm just so shaky and other, whatever. So I'm gonna start with my eyes first. That way if I mess up my winged liner, I can easily clean it up. So I'm priming my eyes first with the Make It Forever Step 1 Eye and Lip Primer. I'm just using my finger, my middle finger, to flip off all the haters and apply. See? Okay, we're good. Okay, because I am a cheater, I'm gonna use tape. It's okay to cheat. I have a piece of scotch tape and I just kind of go like this on the back of my hand a couple of times. It will make sure that the stickiness isn't too intense so it's ripping off like my skin when I peel it off. Let me grab my Con Air mirror. And I just follow my bottom lash line and I'm going more straight out. This is going to help me create a straighter winged liner look. Like I was saying, I'm really not the best at winged liner. It's either Barely There or Amy Winehouse. There's no in between with me. See, back in the day, I used to wear eyeliner all the time. Every single look I did, there was winged liner. And I kind of realized that winged liner was like a crutch. It was that one thing that would quote unquote save the look or like finish the eye. And if I didn't have winged eyeliner on, I felt so, not ugly, but just unfinished. And I know a lot of girls now, like they do winged liner with everything, but sometimes it takes away from the eye. I started challenging myself and I stopped wearing winged liner. And then now it's like, I don't even remember how to do it. So after I place the tape, this is Ciate London and Chloe Morello eyeshadow palette. Now this is the first one that came out about a year ago. And it's like one of my favorites, this whole top row situation all the way to about that one I use all the time but you could use any of your matte neutral tones or warm tone shadows it doesn't matter like you don't have to have this palette is what I'm saying so I am using this matte cream shade with just a fluffier brush and I'm placing this all over my lid this is going to neutralize any redness or discoloration or just neutralize the redness really I'm using this shade right here it's called unconditional with a flat all over shadow brush I'm applying this shade all over my lid up towards my crease. Once I place that shade, I just take a, a fluffier blending brush and really soften the edge. Then with the shade on fire, I'm gonna place this on the lid just to like deepen it a bit. A lot of the times like when I wear these shadows, I just kind of layer them and make it look really messy because I like that kind of grungy, imperfect eyeshadow look with the matte shades especially. I'm not perfect when it comes to my eyeshadows, if you haven't noticed. Same thing, I go back to my blending brush and just soften it. With the shade Queen B, I'm placing this along my crease. Then I go back to my blending brush and just back and forth movement to soften. Chocolate eyes. Now for the eyeliner. This is M Cosmetics and it's called the Illustrative Eyeliner. It's a brush tip. Very fine tip to it, which I personally like because again, I struggle with my winged liner, so I need that small tip. I personally like to start with the wing first. So I start from the middle of my eyelid outwards. I stomp the liner. I usually don't breathe. And then I just head towards the tape. And then in here, I just stomp, brush, stomp, brush. And then in here, I just extend it in my tear duct. It's easy to do with a super small, precise tip like this. Now with Queen B again, which is the deeper crease shade I used, after the liner, I do like to come back and just kind of deepen it a little bit. Now I'm just going to peel off the tape, if I can get it, geez. Okay, I still managed to mess up my liner. Have no fear. Take your eyeshadow primer. Well, since I did my eyes first, I could technically just use makeup remover, but I like to use my eyeshadow primer as eyeliner remover. Take a small brush. This is an angled brush from MAC, and I dip it into my eyeshadow primer, and then I can clean up liner. 
You can also do this after your foundation and it won't disturb your foundation at all. And it'll just remove the liner. It's strange, it's like magic. So lately I've been really into this primer. It's by Smashbox and it's called the Photo Finish Iconic Primer Stick. As you guessed it, it's a primer stick. I'm really dry, so if I use too much of this, it can make me really, really dry. But if you're oily, you're gonna love it but it also smooths out my pores. So I put it like just in here cause lately my pores have been humongo. Did I say humongo? And my nose too. I can't see any, I need my Conair mirror. And then I smooth it out with my finger. It makes your skin just look really smooth. And again, it will absorb oil. I know this because I guess I'm not dry. I don't know what I am anymore. I went through a stage where I was really, really dry and flaky. But I think that's because of all the acne medication I was on. And now like I'm kind of getting shiny in my T-zone, but I'm still kind of dry. Whatever. But it makes my pores really small and that's what I like because they're huge. So yesterday I used some self tanner. So I'm a little tan now. I'm gonna use my Tan Girl foundation, which is, there's like red lipstick on all of my stuff. Anyways, NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. I have the shade Punjab. I've been using this in all of my tutorials and this is like my tan face color. And just the other day I looked it in my reflection or like the mirror outside and oh my God, my face was so tan but the rest of my body was snow white. And I was like, Bailey, why have you been wearing this color? It's not even close. But when I tan, it's good. Anyways, Claire Sonic, dab on the foundation, blend it out. Nars Soft Velvet Loose Powder in Beach. I love my Nars powder. What can I say? Powder puff. I'm gonna set my under eyes around my nose on my chin, anywhere that it gets shiny, which is usually right in here. And then my forehead, just like the middle, right up here. I am using my Kelly Baker Brow Eyebrow Powder, and this is in the shade Dark Brown. This is a small brush from MAC 266 SHS. It's a long name. Did I say that they just recently like went synthetic, the hairs? So they're no longer um, using animal hairs or natural hairs. Wait, actually, I can't say that fully, but I know they have a bunch of new synthetic brushes. Anywho, so I'm just lightly feathering this into my eyebrow. You really need to get them done. They're very bushy. So if you guys hear a bunch of background noise, there's a lot going on today outside and there's really not much we can do about it. <laughs> so just bear with me and I'll put subtitles if you wanna put this on mute or whatever, it's fine. Okay, I'm dusting off the loose powder. Contour, I'm using my MAC Sculpting Powder. A lot of people ask me what this is and I think it's just called, it says Sculpt D36, that's what it is. All of my cheek, along my jawline, forehead, Eww. I'm gonna add some bronzer to my face. This is the NARS Seaside. It's too light, isn't it? It's a matte bronzer and I just need a brush and I can make this dream happen. Seaside. So right on my cheekbones, I guess you could technically contour with these, can't you? Cause they're matte. I mean, the nice thing about these is that they are very, very light. They're very sheer. They add like a, the lightest touch of bronze to the face. They're not my favorite. I got them thinking like they were, I would use them in my kit a lot, but I just noticed that I wasn't reaching for them as much. I don't know why. I think because they're so sheer. I think if you have a fair complexion, it'd be really pretty. Cause like a lot of the times when you're really fair, bronzer can be a nightmare. So I think if you're fair, you would really like these. But for the most part, they're like, meh. <laughs> as I applied it to my face. Hourglass Ambient Metallic Strobe Palette. This is like my favorite of all time. You should know this by now, I use it every day. I like to mix these two shades, the middle and the pinky shade. It gives me such a pretty luminosity. I love this palette. I'll take my beauty blender and just lightly go over the highlight just to blend it and soften it into the skin so it's not so highlight, you know, you know. Going back to my eyeshadow palette, I'm using the shade On Fire and a small brush. I'm just gonna place this mm, 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 along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my blending brush and just really soften it. I'm also gonna soften up here. 
It's a little choppy looking. I'm gonna put on a coat of mascara to my top and bottom lashes, followed by a pair of eyelashes. You bet your sweet little ass, I'm gonna use some lashes. And I'll be right back. So I put on a pair of eyelashes. These are the Ardell Lashes number 122 Wispies. They're very soft and like just kind of natch. They're pretty. I clean up nicely, don't I? Jeez. Look cute. Okay, so for my lips, I'm doing the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in Stark Naked. I hope they still make this one. I don't think they don't. Then I'm doing the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in 107. And then, because I like to do a lip cocktail. You know, you can't just have one lip color. Well, you can, but why when you can have three colors? This is the NYX Lip Lingerie in Lace Detail. Now, I don't like to technically support NYX Cosmetics because they did me dirty, but I bought this before they did me dirty, so that's why I'm using it right now. And there you go, this is the finished look. Isn't it nice? I really like it. I like me with a tan. I just look a little bit more alive. I don't look so washed out. I hope you guys like this tutorial and let me know what you think down below and what you want to see next. Have a good day today. Make good choices. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye!